What's going on guys? My name is Jacob and if you're new here, I make videos about trading, trading psychology, and ways that you can overcome your biggest obstacles so that you can become the trader that you've always wanted to be, right? So if that sounds like something you're into, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button down below so that you see more videos like these. Now, today I don't have a script. I don't have anything I'm gonna be looking at or reading off of, right? I just have some thoughts that are dialed in my head that I wanted to make sure got into this video and upload it onto YouTube for you guys to see. These are the three hardest truths to swallow in order to go from that amateur standpoint to become a professional trader and to become the trader you've always wanted to be, right? So the first thing is to stop treating your trading account like a gambling account. Now it sounds so simple, it sounds so easy, but in reality, this is one of the hardest things that I struggled with, right? And the reason why is because, guys, if you just raise your awareness, right? That's my, that's my whole goal of this channel is to raise awareness of your subconscious behaviors and subconsciously we're being exposed uh, uh, to so many realms of gambling, right? Whether it be, you know, when I was growing up as a kid, it was the news letting you know about some new lottery winner that just made, you know, $15 million, $30 million, whatever the, you know, the size of the lottery win was. Uh, but it was letting people know that like, hey, this person won that. In today's day and age, you know, now it's, you know, people making a thousand percent returns off of Dogecoin or Shiba Inu or Bitcoin. And, you know, by no means am I saying that crypto is not the future and that I don't believe it's here to stay. I do believe it's here to stay, right? But in terms of those percentage of returns, guys, if you try to take that to this market, it's not gonna end well. Right, and the reason for that is because, guys, there's a lot of risk that comes with that, right? You may hear about people making these crazy 5X, 15X, 20X returns in a matter of days, weeks, or months, but what they're not telling you is all the people that failed, right? The people that got in too late and they lost all of their money not everyone is winning. For everybody that's winning on the markets, there's also just as many people taking losses, right? Uh, so be aware of that, be mindful of that. Don't treat your trading account like a gambling account because you're gonna have the same profitability return percentage as someone that's gambling in any of the markets. You know, in, in my opinion, the, the market that I trade, the Dow Jones, right? It, you can lose your money faster there than actually at a casino, right? If you're treating it like a, a gambling casino. So don't treat it like that. Treat it like this is your business, right? The moment you start changing your mindset about what your trading account is, and you think of it as a business, right? If a business wants to succeed, it needs to have scalable returns over time. I don't know of any business that is looking to you know, 20X, 500X their money in like the next couple of months. But guys, anyone that's built any business or knows anything about entrepreneurship knows that is not how businesses are run. That's not how businesses are built. That's not how you build something that's long lasting, right? So guys, I really wanted to hammer that in. So be aware of that. Do not treat your trading account like a gambling account. All right, the second thing is to not succumb to instant gratification, right? And you're probably thinking like, Jacob, what are you talking about? Instant gratification is all over the place, right? This is another one of these subconscious things that is just in our lives, uh, whether it be through the media or social media or, or whatever it is, guys, we went from, you know, when I was a kid, we went to Blockbuster and drove down the road in order to get a movie, right? You had to go into the store, look around, pick out a good movie uh, in order to, to watch a movie. And now, you know, Netflix and Hulu and all these other streaming services, guys, all you have to do is turn on your TV, turn on your laptop uh, or computer, uh, and you log on Netflix.com, Hulu, whatever you have, you can start watching a movie in a matter of minutes, right? That's the definition of instant gratification. Same thing as, you know, Instagram, right? Those, those likes that come in, that's instant gratification. 
And it's so easy to, to have the same mindset when it comes to trading uh, that you may not be aware that you, of the fact that you're bringing that mindset into trading. Uh, and here's how I can tell you if, if you're doing that, right? Ask yourself if you've got ever got up on the markets and said, I'm not leaving until I make $200 today. Right, or I'm not leaving until I make three hundred dollars. I'm not leaving until I make a thousand dollars. I'm not even leaving until I make two thousand dollars. Right? I'm sure all of us have gotten on the markets and felt that way. Right? And there's nothing wrong with having goals, but at the end of the day, guys, if you're demanding something from the markets, it's not guaranteed the market's going to give it to you. I don't care what strategy you have, if the market conditions aren't fit for your strategy or the market you know is just operating in a way that is only going to guarantee you with your strategy a certain amount uh compared to other days where you may get more guys if you're not accepting to that you're gonna end up losing right you're gonna end up staying to a trade too long you're gonna end up being like yeah there's no way this is going backwards on me like this is definitely going back up or going back down you know, whether I'm shorting it or buying the dip, whatever it may be, you're gonna have those thoughts if you're thinking of instant gratification. You're not gonna be willing to take a loss. You're not gonna be willing to manage your risk. You're not gonna be willing to manage your profit, right? So that is the second thing, is to make sure that instant gratification, that psychology does not get ingrained into your trading psychology. They have to be separate. Uh, you have to leave that out of your trading account or it will not fare well for you. The last thing, and this is probably the most important one, right? Is to understand the law of energy conservation. You're probably about to click off, be like, dude, what are you talking about? Like, why are we bringing physics into trading? Guys, the law of energy conservation states that energy cannot be created or destroyed and it is only transferred back and forth, right? Any energy that is currently here is what stays here. And the only, the only reason that things change is because energy is transferred from one thing to another, right? So nothing can be just created out of nothing. Now you may be able to be, argue and say like, well, I can create a business idea straight from my head and you know, uh, have a business idea created from nothing, right? Well, not necessarily, right? You took energy, you took information from something that got into your brain and that allowed you to have that idea which you then put that energy back into a, a business or whatever you created, right? Uh, so energy can never be created or destroyed. It just purely exists and it, it's transferred back and forth, right? It's no difference with the markets, right? If you take this to the markets, you understand that, you know, you have to operate at a certain energy, operate at a certain frequency to be able to match the market's frequency, right? And this all comes back down to gratitude, right? If you're not thankful for what the market's going to give you, then the market is not going to give you anything, right? You're actually, it's actually going to take things from you. So you have to raise up your energy. You have to give a certain amount of energy in order to get the output that you want, right? And basically what I'm boiling down to is you can't just hop on the markets without testing your strategy, without working on yourself, uh, whether it be your trading psychology, whether it just be your overall uh, personal development, you can't hop onto the markets and expect 5x returns or 10x returns if you're not putting that same level of energy and work into yourself to be able to have that from the markets, right? So everything has an input, everything has an output, and you have to be aware of that, right? You have to be aware of the fact that you have to put a level of energy into something in order to get a certain level of output back, right? So I hope that helped. I hope all of that made sense. Guys, to just sum it up, right? First one is do not treat your trading account like a gambling account. The second one is do not practice instant gratification or allow that into your trading psychology when you're trading. And the last thing is the law of energy conservation. Make sure you're putting a certain level of input in order to get a certain level of output back from the markets and back from the work that you're putting in. So appreciate you guys. Drop some comments down below if you have any other tips or questions. I'd be happy to help. Peace, guys.